डोंट यूज अ वेरी वर्बोस स्टाइल ऑफ राइटिंग बी सिंपल बी क्लियर and be careful about the punctuations grammatical errors because kai bar hota hai ki bahut acha quality present karne ke chakkar mein hum ye cheez overlook kar dete hain so i ensured that saral sateek aur acha content mein likh do hi guys welcome to nabar 2022 topper series once again today i have a very special guest with me ananya sharma she has cleared nabar examination in her first attempt and she was just 22 when she wrote her first attempt of nabard she is probably one of the youngest in nabard's history to have joined the organization and certainly the youngest in this year's batch so first of all i would like to welcome ananya and i would request ananya to introduce herself tell her a little bit tell us a little bit about her uh, life's history her education work experience if any and what inspired her to write this examination hi ananya Welcome to Top Topper Series. Hello, sir. Thank you for the kind introduction. My name is Ananya Sharma. I belong to Faridabad district of Haryana. I've had a background in humanities, and thereafter I did my graduation in political science from Gargi College, Delhi University. Simultaneously, I also did a three-year language course in German up till the advanced diploma level from Saint Stephen's College, Delhi University. I completed all this by the year 2020. and then i had two options in front of me first could be that i start writing my examinations the government examinations but at that year i was not eligible for any exam since i had not attained the age of 21 and the second but the less preferred option was that i pursue higher education and since the exams were also delayed in that year uh, the covid year so i was getting admission in ma political science based on my merit so my parents insisted me that i should take up the course and then i started my masters in political science and in the very same year i started looking for different avenues of the government examinations and i came across a analysis video of rbi grade b mains examination and i got to know that rbi also conducts its recruitment cycle and that was the day when i watched that analysis video and then no looking back i decided that yes rbi is the examination which has to be the first one and i began my preparation from that very year and i prepared for uh, one entire year for the rbi exam and wrote that in may 2022 and uh, somehow i could not clear the prelims uh, have falling short in the reasoning section and uh, that's how like uh, the journey for rbi ended but uh, at that same time i took a break in the month of june and uh, the news was coming around that nabard grade is on its way and i started watching all the videos that what is the exam about what is the pattern and uh, my go to source was the success stories that how are people preparing for it and on july 1st i began my preparation for nabard grade uh very young uh to ये गवर्नमेंट एग्जाम्स की इंस्पिरेशन जो लोगों के अंदर होती है नंबर वन वेरी जेनुइन क्वेश्चन आई हैव कि ये कहाँ से आई क्योंकि उस एज में बहुत सारे लोग होते हैं जिनके पास कोई भी इंस्पिरेशन नहीं होती है गवर्नमेंट yeah. जॉब <laughs> की या फिर एक उस उसदे पे काम करने की इंस्पिरेशन तो बहुत दूर की बात है एंड सेकेंडली यू सेट दैट यू फेल इन आर इन फर्स्ट अटैम्प्ट इन ट्वेंटी हाउ डिड यू कोप अप विद डैट एंड हाउ डिड यू मेक योर सेल्फ रेडी for the upcoming nabard examination yeah so honestly sir as an rbi aspirant i was really focused in fact i was preparing for phase 1 phase 2 both in an integrated manner and i had created that kind of aura for myself that i will clear rbi but somehow when things did not turn up as i had planned i firstly took a break in the month of june i went for a good family trip and uh, family trip jab wapas bhi nahi aaye the wahi pe i started watching the videos that nabard is coming and all those things so wo ek kick start tha that i have to give nabard and as far as the inspiration for giving government examinations is concerned so i would like to mention that uh, there is an uncle of mine and he is uh, mr anurag bakshi so he has been an ex irs officer and one day when i happened to visit uh, their sprawling bungalow so they uh, showed me the room which was full of trophies and that kind of gave me an inspiration that job ho to aise so he uh, like uh, recently also when i met him he asked me that rbi grade bhi de rahe ho 
so i told him that yes i gave the exam and currently i am uh, in the nabard cycle so he is one of the persons who has been an inspiration and besides that like both my parents have been in private jobs so i have seen that kind of uh, you know mental pressure for uh, in them and uh, the generation of my grandparents both of them were in government jobs so today when i've landed up in nabard so i feel that after a generation again some person in the family is there in the government job so. uh, you took humanities in your uh, 12th 11th and 12th aur uske baad pol science kiya so a lot of students even today feel under confident uh, because people don't look up to you know such students uh, with with very bright eyes and they assume that you are not a uh, very smart student that's why probably you're doing this so did you also face such uh, you know a criticism and how did you deal with it uh, both in your 11th and 12th and in your graduation absolutely sir in fact in 11th class when i decided that i'm going to take humanities my parents were also skeptical that are you sure because i had a good score in class 10 so they expected me to sit in non medical but uh, it was my choice and uh, i took humanities with maths and uh, as far as my graduation is concerned i was interested in economics but somehow uh, i f- fell short of the cut off and then i took political science but i tried to supplement it by taking uh, economics as my generic elective subject which i had studied for four semesters and uh, of course sir uh, ek realization us time pe ho gayi thi that the career opportunities in political science are definitely bleak because it is an academic course and in order to like create a backup for myself i took up german language course and i pursued it for 3 years because uh, as far as language course is concerned there is a lot of scope in private sector also and teaching line also so i thought that if nothing works in my favor i will fall back upon this german thing to so students ke liye ye ek inspiration uh, ya fir ek naya tip hai jo main dena chahunga that uh, if you're doing your btech or let's say you're doing your graduation simultaneously i think you should be taking some kind of skill based courses jo ki uh, the government is also popularizing and trying to promote that yeah and she's a live example of uh, things that can be done along with your uh, graduation and there were questions i think from german language or from the relationship between nabard and german in the interview as well so with that let me come to the interview directly uh, i know that it must have been a very interesting interview so what happened because you had to go all the way to mumbai and then uh, it was very chilly here but it was must have been very nice weather there so kya hua us then what happened and how did the interview go yeah so firstly sir uh, my interview was scheduled at mumbai and it took me at least 2 days to realize that interview mumbai mein hi hai because i had uh, applied for delhi regional office but somehow i was directed to mumbai so i traveled all the way to mumbai and it felt like a dream come true because till now i have never visited that place and get, directly getting a call from nabard head office was really something very special and the day was actually one of the most memorable days of my life the moment i entered nabard head office it was a different world altogether and everyone was so comfortable and so approachable there you know when people were calling you ma'am 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 so it actually felt very nice there and i was the first candidate for the interview at mumbai head office so that of course was you know an added tension but i was uh, i would say not very nervous that day kind of relaxed and very happy because i was in the nabard head office so with gleaming eyes i was observing that okay what is the atmosphere like how are the people there and uh, very very soon like they took me to the interview room and uh, they were waiting that when will the panelists come and i was told to enter the room so i sat there and the interview began with my introduction and uh, gradually then they also asked some hr questions and uh, thereafter sir gave the opportunity chairman sir that what have you prepared for the interview and i mentioned all those things i also mentioned that since nabard is actively collaborating with germany since 1992 and i have had a background in that language so i was interested that okay what are the organizations and uh, how are they working i told everything so we had a discussion about the achievements of nabard what are the achievements highlighted in nabard annual report then gradually we had a brief discussion about the organic and natural farming what are the differences pros and cons and uh, then a panelist another panelist he interrupted 
and asked that uh, Sri Lanka had a, a organic farming model. So do you think that it is viable in India? And we had a good discussion on that also. And uh, towards the end, like uh, there was a long discussion on RIDF versus NIDA. So these are the two funds of NABAD. And uh, probably I was not very confident in that area. So I openly told them, sir, that provided my background, I am not aware of the intricacies because they were constantly giving follow up questions also. So in a very relaxed and calm manner, I said that I am not aware about it. So they were OK. And uh, lastly, when the interview was about to end, so uh, another panelist, he asked that you mentioned you are from Faridabad, Haryana. What are you doing in Mumbai? So he was really like uh, shocked and wanted to know that how can it happen? So I told him that I had applied for the Delhi regional office, but somehow I've been directed to Mumbai. So he said, but this should not happen. And I told them, sir, that uh, anyways, I'm really comfortable and happy in Mumbai because in Delhi, the situation is really bad. We are facing a bitter cold air. So I'm having a good time in Mumbai and uh, it is a respite for me from the bad cold of Delhi. And suddenly all three of them, they started laughing that, okay, look at her. She's so relaxed and comfortable and happy to be in Mumbai. So uh, sir told me that, okay, go enjoy Mumbai, do sightseeing and all. You're done for today. And lastly, I thanked them that this was the first interview of my life. So thank you for making it so memorable. So that's how it ended on a very lighter note. And when I left the interview room, I was happy and relaxed that there was no pressure or anything like that. And the panelists were also very cordial. And I had a confidence that I have done justice to what I prepared. That's all. Do they actually grill you in the interview? Uh, the students who were sitting there also gave it later. And you must have heard about it also later. Because a lot of us uh, have this doubt, a lot of students have this doubt that they grill you very badly and uh, you have to be on your toes and you have to keep a lot of things in mind. Is it actually true or were they just trying to know you? Grilling actually does not happen in a bad interview, what even uh, we used to hear during our preparation phase. And it's just that be honest. If you don't know, tell them plainly that I am not aware about it. They won't press you for that. Uh, just like sir asked me that uh, apart from Germany, we are having collaborations with some other country. And since it was in a virtual mode, I was not able to hear the question clearly. So I told him, sir, that I, I not, uh, did not know the answer also. So I told him, sir, that I have not heard about it. So he took his time to explain that, okay, we are doing this, this, this. So I told him that, yes, I will read about it. And the last question of my interview, um, I was not able to answer it properly. So I told them that I don't know. So grilling actually does not happen. It's just that we have to be true and tell them if we don't know it. How was your attitude different than others when you went in for the interview? You must have seen it very clearly amongst your competitors, so to say. So what was different about your personality, your aura or your attitude on that day? And do you feel that that made a difference? Yes, sir. I feel that I was uh, relaxed on that day. I should be nervous, but the moment I entered the head office, I don't know where all that you know nervousness it vanished because I just uh, told myself that probably this is the place where even I will have to work someday. And I was very happy looking at the various departments and people out there. And all of us who were waiting there, we were discussing casually that, okay, so and so things are to happen. And what I feel is that uh, something which changed my attitude that day was probably my appearance. Because I always envisioned myself that someday, you know, I will be sitting on a chair, assuming some office, wearing a sari, sitting like a government official. So that day I saw myself living that dream. So that gave me a sense of confidence that yes, what I had achieved, I am realizing it today. Wonderful. Let me take you back uh, a little bit in time and uh, talk about RBI and NABARD, the preparation phase. What do you do? You think that your NABARD preparation was a two month preparation or was it a one year, two month preparation? How did you prepare for RBI uh, in that one year and how did it help you in NABARD and what was the strategy like in NABARD? Yeah, so I feel that uh, if today I'm sitting here having cleared the examination, it is because of the 
carry forwarded effort which i saw in my nabard preparation as an rbi aspirant i was very serious and i had already created a plinth for myself by preparing the quant reasoning english i knew that how i have to study the bulky pdfs and uh, what is what are the various sources for piv let's say for reports indices so many things as far as nabard is concerned when i chose that this is the exam i am going to appear next i had a clear vision that quant reasoning english these things should be the last things to worry about since i have been an rbi aspirant so i felt that agar is baar nabard mein qre ke liye main tension le rahi hu to ye bahut galat baat hai because i had the experience of rbi so i expected it that from that perspective i can be relaxed and i uh, steered my preparation totally in this manner that ard and pib 247 these are going to be my focus areas so that's how i was uh, preparing for nabard so what did you do in ard preparation what were your sources what did you focus upon and the same for pib what was the time table like yeah so uh, for ard i relied on uh, your live classes conducted by surat sir i was regularly attending those live sessions and besides that there is a lot of material available on youtube and there is a website of uh, tamil nadu agricultural university also so i feel that ard it is not a very theoretical subject to study because agriculture kya hai farming systems kya hai we are seeing it around us and so i was using google also extensively and for ard i was preparing in this manner that i started off with an easy topic agronomy then i took up a difficult chapter animal husbandry then irrigation then horticulture so in this manner the subject was not uh, seeming to be really burdensome for me and at the same time i was really enjoying studying ard that was for ard for pib i feel that this time i was more focused and had a clarity in mind that pib ko bahut acche se karna hai because we know that in esi the static component questions are reducing so for pib i was more uh, planned this time and i had created separate notebooks for me that one for pib 247 the other one for reports and indices then apart from it there are some other important reports like the agricultural census animal husbandry census and uh, the livestock census sorry and besides that nfhs srs so there is a huge pool which we have for covering the current affairs and uh, that's how these two subjects you talked about note making very briefly register aapne banaya tha so बहुत सारे स्टूडेंट्स को अनफॉर्चुनेटली हमारा एजुकेशन सिस्टम ऐसा है नहीं आता नोट मेकिंग उनको नहीं पता किस तरह से बनाना है किस तरह से उसको रिवीजन के लिए यूज करना है तो व्हाट डिड यू डू लाइक हाउ डिड यू मेक नोट्स हाउ डिड यू मेक श्योर कि ये नोट्स के थ्रू ही मैं रिवाइज करूंगी तो वट वॉज द मेथड ऑफ मेकिंग नोट्स लाइक एज एन आर बी आई आई फेल दैट देर इज सम गैप विच इज देयर इन पी and pib we know that how important it is so this time i planned that first i will watch the video and i was covering all these on a real time basis like there it was not from monthly compilation which i was reading so uh, at the first instance i was watching manish sir's video thereafter i went to the pdfs having read the pdf and highlighted all the important things third revision used to be directly from the index so this is something new which i incorporated that i was uh, directly reading the index and trying to active uh, actively recall it that am i uh, registering have i registered or am i uh, able to like revise it so that's how i was doing it and uh, the fourth revision used to be for the things which i am constantly forgetting or i have some doubt so that's how those things used to be in the form of my notes matlab active revision formed a very important part and parcel of your note making and also later of your revision absolutely sir uh rbi aapne first attempt diya tha 2022 mein and you could not clear phase 1 how did you deal with that one year preparation and that sudden failure because bahut sare young students hain jo uh, expect karte hain ki humne mehnat kari hai to result milna chahiye because that is what happens till your graduation normally effort maate ho to ek direct correlation hota hai aapko result mil hi jata hai but the same does not happen here how did you deal with that failure actually sir uh, it was not expected and it came out as a shocker for me because even uh, rbi result was not out and i had started my descriptive answer writing practice so 
it was really a low point for me but uh, i took a break i went for a family trip and uh, after returning back usi family trip mein maine thoda nabard ke bare mein padhna start kiya that how the examination happens what is the pattern and everything and uh, i convinced myself that yes this is the next examination which i have to target because i saw that there is a lot of overlap between rbi and nabard syllabus and uh, i clearly like convinced myself and told myself that qre ko chhod dena chahiye and i understood the importance of merit sections that wahan se our selection is to be determined so i was giving a lot of mocks and analyzing myself that's how mocks ki baat kar rahe the aap to usme एक टेक्निक हम बोलते हैं रिवर्स लर्निंग वेर इन यू यूज द मॉक टू रिवाइज यू यूज द मॉक टू रिकॉल वट एवर यू हैव प्रॉब्ली रेड इन द पास्ट हाउ डिड यू डू रिवर्स लर्निंग कैसे आपने यूज किया उसको एक्चुअली सर दिस रिवर्स लर्निंग थिंग वॉज यूजफुल फॉर डिसीजन मेकिंग एंड कंप्यूटर सब्जेक्ट बिकॉज दीज सब्जेक्ट्स आर न्यू एंड बहुत लोग इसको इग्नोर कर देते हैं एंड ये उनके फेलियर का एक कारण बन जाता है so for decision making i relied on my management syllabus of rbi and uh, i was preparing extensively through mocks only and through the various uh, youtube sessions also and the more and more mocks we give no actually there is a larger pool of questions which we create for ourselves so that helped me this time and kai bar hota hai ki ek chapter ka kuch aisa part hota hai jo hum chhod dete hain aur wo agar usse question aa jata hai to wo hum pakad sakte hain aur usko स्टडी कर सकते हैं सो आई फील दैट वो एक काफी लर्निंग साइकिल चलती रहती है यू टॉकिंग अबाउट यूट्यूब तो मेरे दिमाग में सबसे पहला क्वेश्चन जब भी यूट्यूब के बारे में सोचता हूँ तो सोशल मीडिया एंड डिस्ट्रैक्शन बिकॉज दैट इज अ मेजर पार्ट ऑफ जेन जी हाउ डिड यू डील विद दैट विद दैट प्रॉब्लम ऑफ डिस्ट्रैक्शन बिकॉज यू हैव टू यूज दैट प्लेटफॉर्म ऑल्सो एंड यू कैन नॉट गेट एडिक्टेड टू इट एज वेल तो बैलेंस कैसे मेंटेन किया actually sir uh, as far as social media is concerned so i am not on any social media platform like instagram and all so bahut sare mere friends mujhe unconventional aur kehte hai ki kaisi hai hai hi nahi but uh, that's how i am because i know that you know it, it really reduces your attention span watching those reels for 10 10 seconds no so it uh, really reduces our retention uh, to fir youtube mein kis tarah se matlab youtube mein bhi to log bahut addicted hote hain main bahut addicted ho jata hu bar bar I have to tell myself कि अभी हो गया बस रख दो यहाँ पे साइड में यू हैव अलॉट ऑफ वर्क टू डू कभी फील हुआ है ऐसा कि मैं एडिक्ट हो रही हूँ कि यूट्यूब पर मैं देखने कुछ और आई थी पढ़ने कुछ और आई थी पढ़ कुछ और रही हूँ या देख कुछ और रही हूँ बहुत बार हो जाता था सर दैट सडनली सम एपिसोड यूज टू कम कुछ भी ऐसा होता था तो लगता था कि देख लें बट एट दैट टाइम देर इज एन ऑप्शन नो नॉट इंटरेस्टेड मैं वो कर देती थी so that uh, jo mera youtube ka first page hai us pe aisi cheeze aayi hi na and uh, i was trying my best to avoid it and the thing is that maine plan kar liya tha and gradually no main us schedule mein maine maine apne aap ko dhal liya tha that till 2 i have to study so i used to take a break and us time pe main cheeze dekhti thi and uh, studying at night is i think the most comfortable time for us and uh, us time pe bahut zyada aap videos bhi nahi dekh sakte because it actually you know creates disturbance तो उस टाइम पे आई थिंक मेरा फोकस मैक्सिमम होता था यस दैट्स हाउ यू यूज्ड योर यस यस वंडरफुल लास्ट क्वेश्चन मैं लेना चाहूंगा प्रेजेंस ऑफ माइंड के ऊपर बिकॉज़ दैट इज समथिंग दैट आई एम फीलिंग एंड आई बिलीव दैट यू हैव इवॉल्वड एंड लर्नड ओवर टाइम हाउ डिड यू यूज द प्रेजेंस ऑफ माइंड इन द एग्जामिनेशन हॉल बिकॉज़ कितना भी पढ़ लो अल्टीमेटली वहां जाके परफॉर्म करना है आपको तो व्हेन एंड वेयर डिड यू फेल इन implementing that presence presence of mind and how did you learn and evolve over it yeah so uh, for phase 1 uh, of rbi in reasoning section i feel that i got anxious and hota na that there are some traps so mai puzzle wale trap mein mai fas gayi and wahan pe i realized that shayad agar maine us time ko thoda sa acche se use kiya hota to i could have scored those three remaining marks also but for nabard this time i was very confident that i there is a pattern in which i have to attempt my exam and that's how i was doing it for mocks also that i used to start with ard then a lighter section like decision making then esi then a, another lighter section and this time i was also writing that how many attempts i have made section wise so uh, paper ke time pe we got this you know sense that paper is difficult especially the esi section 
सो इवन टूवर्ड्स दी एंड वन टू मिनट्स वर रिमेनिंग नो मैंने काफी क्वेश्चन अनमार्क कर दिए बिकॉज मैंने अपना ओवरऑल और ओवरऑल अटैम्प देखा तो आई गॉट अ कॉन्फिडेंस की क्लियर हो सकता है एंड फॉर फेज टू आई वॉज राइटिंग इट फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम एंड इट वॉज अ वेरी डिफरेंट एक्सपीरियंस ऑल टूगेदर बिकॉज सो मेनी पीपल आर सिटिंग इन वन रूम एंड यू आर सिटिंग वेरी क्लोज टू ईच अदर सो द नॉइस ऑफ टाइपिंग इन दैट एंटायर रूम इट इज वेरी डिस्ट्रैक्टिंग सम पर्सन इज शाउटिंग दैट माई की हैज कम आउट माउस इज नॉट वर्किंग सो वी हैव टू कीप आर सेल्फ काम एंड एक चीज मैंने और रियलाइज की जो हम मॉक्स लिखते हैं और जो रियल टाइम एग्जाम में लिखते हैं उसमें बहुत डिफरेंस है बिकॉज इन द रियल टाइम यू नो एग्जाम इन्वायरमेंट द इंटरफेस ऑफ आई बी पी एस इज रियली कन्फ्यूजिंग सम पीपल वर नॉट एबल टू व्यू द वर्ड लिमिट सो दे वर मैनुअली कैलकुलेटिंग कितने वर्ड्स लिखे हैं एंड आई फील दैट मैंने इंग्लिश में ये एटलीस्ट सोचा दैट इवन इफ आई एम गुड एट राइटिंग डोंट यूज अ वेरी वर्बोज स्टाइल ऑफ राइटिंग बी सिंपल बी क्लियर एंड बी केयरफुल अबाउट द पंक्चुएशन ग्रामेटिकल एरर्स बिकॉज कई बार होता है कि बहुत अच्छा क्वालिटी प्रेजेंट करने के चक्कर में हम ये चीज ओवरलुक कर देते हैं सो आई एंश्योर दैट सरल सटीक और अच्छा कंटेंट में लिख दूँ एंड फॉर प्रेसी ऑल्सो लाइक यू नो वी वेन वी वर डिस्कसिंग आफ्टर द एग्जामिनेशन पीपल वर टेलिंग दैट हम हेडिंग लिखना भूल गए और वी हैव रिटन द हेडिंग इन रनिंग बट इट हैज टू बी इन कैप्स सो दीज थिंग्स आई फील दैट ये बड़ी बेसिक होती हैं बट इनको हमें केयरफुल रहना चाहिए एंड फॉर फेज टू ऑफ अगेन द फेज टू ए आर डी ई एस आई सेक्शन द क्वेश्चन वर क्वाइट आई वुड से ऑन दी एक्सपेक्टेड लाइन्स बट देर वॉज एन अनकन्वेंशनल क्वेश्चन ऑन पी एम मत्स्य संपदा योजना सो वो एक आई वुड से फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन था तो उसके लिए अगेन यू नो बहुत ज़्यादा कंटेंट था नहीं एंड इट वॉज वेरी यू नो डिफिकल्ट टू रिमेंबर दी ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑल्सो सो उस टाइम पे आई फील दैट आई गॉट लकी एंड सडनली इट्स ट्रोक मी दैट मैंने इन ए आर डी करंट अफेयर्स आई स्टडीड दैट वॉट बेनिफिट दिस स्कीम ऑफर्स टू बी फिश फार्मर्स इन लीन सीजन सो इमीडिएटली आई रोट अबाउट इट एंड उसको मैंने अच्छी लेंथ में लिखा तो दैट्स हाउ आई फील दैट इस बार प्रेजेंस ऑफ माइंड थोड़ा काम आ गया वंडरफुल वंडरफुल एनीथिंग स्पेसिफिकली दैट यू वुड वांट टू शेयर विद द स्टूडेंट्स बेस्ड अपॉन योर जर्नी बेस्ड अपॉन योर सक्सेस एंड द प्रीवियस फेलियर्स क्या आपने सीखा क्या आप बताना चाहोगे जो फ्यूचर एस्पिरेंट्स हैं क्या चीजें वो ध्यान में रखें जिससे कि सक्सेस जल्दी से जल्दी उनको मिल जाए सर एज फार एज माई जर्नी इज कंसर्न आई हैव सीन बोथ द फेसेज देर वॉज अ डे जब आर बी आई का रिजल्ट आया द एंटायर डे आई वॉज वंडरिंग शायद अब मेरा रोल नंबर होगा बट देर वॉज अनदर डे वेन आई सॉ माई रोल नंबर इन द वेरी फर्स्ट डे सो आई फील दैट देर कैन बी सिचुएशन वेन वी वर्क हार्ड वी बीन परसिस्टेंट एंड थिंग्स डू नॉट कम आउट एज वी हैव प्लान बट उस टाइम पे वी डोंट हैव टू बी हार्ड ऑन आर सेल्फ वी हैव टू एक्सेप्ट इट एज अ स्ट्रोक ऑफ लक एंड डेफिनेटली सम डे और दी अदर थिंग्स विल क्लिक फॉर यू जस्ट बी परसिस्टेंट कीप वर्किंग हार्ड एंड वंस दी फाउंडेशन इज लेड नो आई थिंक दैट आपकी आधी जर्नी तो वहीं कंप्लीट हो गई है एंड उसके बाद बस आपको जो एडिशनल चीज़ें हैं उस पर काम करना है सो आई फील दैट दैट वर्क फॉर मी एंड दिस इज अक्यूमुलेटिव रिवॉर्ड ऑफ बोथ आर बी आई प्रिपरेशन एंड नबार्ड दैट्स ऑल थैंक यू वेरी मच विद दैट आई हैव अ स्मॉल गिफ्ट फॉर यू सो दिस इज अ बुक एक ही गाय बहुत सारे स्टूडेंट्स को मैं पास में भी दे चुका हूँ इट्स अ वंडरफुल रीड एंड आई थिंक आपको जिंदगी जीना जीना सीखना है यू वॉन्ट टू अंडरस्टैंड हाउ टू बी बेटर एट योर लाइफ हाउ टू बी अ गुड ह्यूमन बींग I think this book can help you a lot. So this is for you. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, with that, we come to the end of uh, this session of Nabard Topper series. I am very sure that you must have learned something new from Ananya, or जो भी उनका experience है उसको utilize करिए. Keep preparing, keep working hard. We'll see you very very soon. Till then, all the best. Take care. Bye bye.